Welcome back, everybody, to 31 70s Horror Movies for Halloween, uh, where I'm counting down my favorite horror movies from the 1970s. We're at number 24, and in this spot we have a movie that, whenever I see it, I wonder why I don't watch it more often, and that is Phantasm. <laughs> I always feel like I owe Phantasm an apology, um, because I've seen it quite a few times, but it's one of those movies that I don't watch for a while, and then I kind of forget about for a little bit, and then when I come across it again, it instantly pops into my head and I ask myself, why don't I watch this movie more often? Um, I always feel bad when it kind of slips my mind. When I was originally doing this list, uh, I originally forgot to put Phantasm on there, but then as soon as I was done with it, I remembered Phantasm and I said, that's going on this list somewhere because it has to. <laughs> Boy. This is such a unique horror movie. I always love when a horror movie does something different from all the other movies out there, uh, because it it follows this kid who thinks something weird is going on in this funeral home. He sees this guy there who we call the Tall Man, uh, he, who's this really intimidating character, really mysterious character, and you find out that this guy is doing something with the bodies. I, I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it, but Every now and again, these strange little minions show up, and they have something to do with the tall man. And as the movie goes on, it becomes one of the most original horror movies out there. What the heck? Phantasm does have its fan base, and it is getting a little more recognition now, but it's a movie that deserves so much more recognition than it gets. Phantasm deserves to be up there with the great horror movies. The only reason that it's not higher on my list is because there are other movies that I love a little more than Phantasm. Like, everything on this list is, like, so close to each other, but it's like, oh, I love this one just a little more than that one, and I have to bite the bullet and put it somewhere. The Tall Man is one of the most intimidating horror villains out there. Like, genuinely scary, and he has this great raspy voice. Boy! The funeral is about to begin, sir. Uh, the Tall Man was played by Angus Scrim, and uh, for me, he's a horror actor that deserves to be up there with Robert Anglund at, for, for the likes of Freddy Krueger. Um, we have so many masked killers in the horror genre, but there are a lot of great unmasked killers in the horror genre, and The Tall Man is, is one of the best. Angus Scrim does such a good job at playing The Tall Man that it's just like Robert Englund with Freddy Krueger. You can't see anyone else in that role. And now that he, and since he passed away a while back, um, I, I kind of hope they don't make any more Phantasm movies, because it just wouldn't feel the same without him. Um, I, I wouldn't mind sort of a reboot to the series, uh, just for the sake of getting more recognition for the original movies. Um, but again, it would not be the same without Angus Scrim. And I like the fact that the movie is seen from a child's point of view. Um, we have the, the main, one of the main characters, Mike, and uh, again, the whole movie is captured from his point of view. Um, and it's one of those movies that, because a lot of movies, you know, you have the, if, if it involves kids, they're spewing one-liners and stuff like that. This movie captures how unsafe it can be to be a kid. It, it captures how frightening the world can seem to someone who's so young. And I really, really like that. And of course, we have to talk about the weapon, which is this metal ball that goes flying around the funeral home, and it goes into people's heads and drills through their skulls and spews blood out. Ah! 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 
it's a fantastic weapon and a very original weapon. Uh, again, the main reason why I would recommend Phantasm is because it's such an original horror movie. Uh, I always try to pop in Phantasm around October, and if you haven't seen it, I would recommend you do. Um, it does get a little crazy in the third act, and uh, some people say it doesn't make any sense, but I don't think it hurts the movie at all. Um, it, for me, it feels like, kind of like a, an Italian horror movie made in America, and it captures that essence of an Argento movie or a Fulci movie, where there is a story, but it's not really trying to tell a coherent story, it's trying to get you to experience a nightmare. And nightmares don't make sense. So it's kind of natural for there to be certain things in this movie that don't make a lot of sense. But overall, the, the movie does have a coherent story. It just has this sort of nightmare quality that I think puts you on edge. Really good stuff.